Hey, hey, it's Jason ODB, AKA the Lincoln Addict here. And today I'm going to do an unboxing on a set of products that a company by the name of Steel Rubber offers. The great thing about Steel Rubber is they're super easy to do business with. I'll show you here in a moment. When you visit steelrubber.com, that's S-T-E-E-L-E -E -E, rubber.com, you'll see that they have a very user-friendly website. That's very important because you, like myself, uh, when you do business with a company, you want to make sure that it's a company that's reinvested into their products and their brand. When you visit steelrubber.com, you're able to request a specific catalog for your year, make, and model vehicle. That's what I recently did for Lincoln Continental Convertible. Upon receiving the catalog, it made it a little bit easier for me to plan on what I was looking to purchase. Now, additionally, if you don't want to wait that time for the catalog, they have, as I mentioned, a very user-friendly website. Upon searching for your vehicle, they're going to list out all of the different pieces that they make. I recommend to anyone, whether you're working on a Lincoln or a hot rod project, so to speak, create a spreadsheet. Whether you use Google Sheets or a product like Microsoft Excel, creating a spreadsheet is very easy. Uh, you'll see here, I essentially created various columns. I listed the description as well as the part number. Now, Steel Rubber also is available uh, for various type of support. You can contact them if you need to. Uh, you also can follow them for those that are on Twitter. Follow Steel Rubber. And as I mentioned prior, they are also on Instagram. I'll put the links below in the description. Now, this video is brought to you by Lincoln Attic Podcast. That's the second podcast that I produce. I actually host that podcast solely on my own, and I produce and co-host another podcast, which is really tied into the mini truck world, as well as hip hop, BMX bikes. You can see here, I visited the Hell Track 2018 event that was out there in Texas, and it was hosted by Bill Allen, who played Crew Jones in the cult classic 1986 movie, Rad, which I'm a huge fan of. So uh, check out Our Lifestyle, the podcast. Check out Lincoln Attic podcast via your favorite podcast app. You can also check those out on the web. I'll put the links below in the description. Now, like many of you, I enjoy watching unboxing videos, whether it be from a tech website, such as a Pixel 3 phone or an iPhone, or just a casual user of a product. It helps me decide if I'm on the fence about purchasing a product. Hey, is the quality really there? What do other enthusiasts think about that product? Well, I can tell you, I've met Steel Rubber at the SEMA show prior, and I've spoken with them on the phone several times. I've also seen different interviews on programs such as My Classic Car with Dennis Gage. I'm thoroughly impressed with the team that they have and it's a product that I would highly recommend that you check out. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So believe it or not, this entire purchase that I made for the 64 Lincoln Continental comes in this box. So let's dive right in. Hey, so we're back. What I essentially did was dump everything on the table here. So a little bit, it'll be a little bit easier for me to go through each individual item I'll put those back into the box that you saw a moment ago, and I'll talk a little bit about each of these products. Now, one thing I cannot stress enough is quality. You get what you pay for, and when you make a purchase with an organization like Steel Rubber, you know you're getting good American-made products, and that's what I appreciate. Support those that support you, and when you're dealing with a company that's supporting jobs in the United States, I give that two thumbs up. Okay, so I talked a little bit about the box, right? This was, at the time, every single piece that I could purchase for a 64 Lincoln Continental convertible. I went ahead and dumped it out, and I'll go through these items now. When you go through the website, make sure you search for your vehicle, and like I mentioned, create a spreadsheet. Go through each of these part numbers, right? So this is the seal for the rear door striker. 
Again, awesome packaging. That's the same theme that you're gonna see throughout with each of these. And you've got the steel branding right here. Okay, this is the side window leading edge. You've got a couple uh, items here. These are the pads for the door handles. So if your doors were taken off uh, for paint and the door handles were removed, uh, these are gonna be perfect uh, for you to uh, install or have your body shop install these. Uh, you can typically see these on a lot of cars, especially my 64. You'll see where they're just d disintegrating essentially. So it's awesome to have these new items available. Here you have the hood to cow. Uh, this is the little bumper adjuster. Here you have the lock pillar filler. And uh, what you'll see again is the quality. This is a dual item and it will show you on the website. For instance, the item that I just showed for the door handles, you do need two packs of those because they come in a pack of two. So if you have the four door sedan or convertible, you'll order two of those, it's pretty simple. In the spreadsheet that I'll show, uh, you'll see that I always make a quantity column. So most of the quantities that you need are one, but in those rare uh, examples where you need two, I'll add that quantity, put in that basic formula so it'll multiply it, and then that'll allow me to do a good tally at the end in terms of how much I'm looking to spend. Here you have the door bumper. Here you have the bumper to cowl to fender items. Here you have the deck lid corner weather strip. These are often just pretty much nasty. So again, it's great that you have an American made product. Good, awesome replacement. Here we have the hood to cow seal. Here you have the tail light lens gaskets. These come in uh, two, obviously. Here you have the splash apron kit. So this is pretty cool. Um, you'll see that there's two of these in here and um, you can just tell on the weight of these and the quality of them that this is a, a really, really, really good product. Okay, the header front bow. Again, another nice quality product. Here you have the deflector rear bumper stone. Pretty big piece, but you can see overall that uh, it, they're able to wrap these up nice and neat. And uh, again, it, it helps keep the cost of shipping down if you're looking to buy one item. Here, you have the door weather strip front. So anyone that's a fan of these cars or different cars uh, that you may own uh, know how important it is to have the weather stripping for the doors, uh, whether it be uh, the sound of the air coming through or situations where you have water that's coming in, a couple things you don't want. You want an enjoyable ride, and this is why I choose steel products. All right, here you have the front door front edge seal. Okay, you have a couple of two big items here. Uh, this one's a big one. It's the convertible roof rail kit. So I was driving a 67 convertible just a few hours ago, one of my friend's cars, and the car recently we soldered in new window switches because they are available for that year car. The challenge is he needs these replaced on the car. The top needs to be replaced, but the top isn't too, too bad. And what's essentially happening is if we wash the car or we spray any water on it or it rains heavy here in Florida and the car is outside, water gets in through those crevices. And essentially the water is falling for the front uh, doors. It's falling right into where the window switches are and it's causing challenges. So that's another important reason if you have an older car and it had electric windows or you've done some sort of conversion, it's important that you keep the water out. That's what this kit does. Now, this kit on the 6465s is one of the more expensive pieces that you'll find. If you go on eBay and search, you'll see uh, various vendors selling steel products and it gives you an idea of what this bad boy costs. But I can tell you, I've ridden in cars when it starts raining. We have to put the top up, especially here in Florida where it rains a lot. It's really, really important that you've got 
it's sealed up, the vehicle that you're riding in, not only from a wind noise standpoint, but from a moisture or wetness perspective. Keep all that rain out of the interior of your car. These cars are worth a lot of money and a lot of examples, and it's important to keep them looking fresh and keep them working fresh. All right, here's a big one. This is a 6465 windshield gasket. Uh, another hot topic um, for these cars, I, I've seen a lot of cars that have been inside a long time and the windshield gaskets are, are fine. Um, as you know, if you get a break in your windshield, I think in most states, if not all states, if you have a crack, you have to have your windshield replaced. Or if it's cracking really, really bad and it can't just be simply repaired with some sort of resin or with these different windshield uh, companies are, are using to repair those, you, you have to have a glass person take out the windshield and install a new one. Oftentimes, I would say I'm no expert when it comes to windshields, but on a 64, 65, I'm pretty certain you got to have a new windshield gasket, and these things are a lifesaver. Again, great company like Steel Products, they're offering these products so us as consumers can go out there and make that purchase. Okay, here you have the hinge pillar weather strip. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out is, like on this item, you also have in a nice, what appears to be like a Sharpie, uh, you have the product number written right here as well. So if the body shop kind of rips all these open, almost like, uh, you know, it's, it's Christmas day and it's like, hey, let's rip them all open. You've also got that there as a reference. Now Steel also graciously will take a lot of these smaller items if you purchase all of these and they'll put them into a clear bag. So what I did is I dumped these out here a moment ago and uh, these are the last few items that I'll highlight. You have the Seal rear door at the rear hinge. You have the taillight assembly mounting pads. This is another item that uh, comes in a pair and the website's very specific, but you can feel the quality of these American made products. Here you have the signal backup light lens gaskets. Now on the 64, 65 Lincolns, these are down in the lower portion of the rear bumper. And then last but not least, the radiator side seal. Uh, and it also comes with these staples that you'll need. Pretty cool that a company offers a product down to this detail. Now, what I have found is steel rubber offers pretty much anything I can think of. Now, I don't do paint and body work, but I will tell you, um, having been around this type of culture for many years, whether it be customized cars, factory restorations, or just an enthusiast like yourself that might be at home looking to replace some of these items, it's very, very easy to do. They also offer this packing sheet. So uh, what you end up with is all of the items and they double and triple check everything before they are mailed out. Now I'll show you here in a moment, uh, as I mentioned with Google Sheets or if you're a Microsoft Excel user, create the spreadsheet, determine what you need. Maybe make a column that says, do I need it now if you don't have the funds to buy everything? Or is it something a little bit later on down the road? Uh, if you're going to have your doors removed to have them painted and maybe some body work, uh, you know, up underneath the door, some rust repair, if you will. It might be a great time if the door handles are coming out. Purchase the door handle pieces. Boom. That's going to make the reassembly a little bit easier for uh, the person that's doing the job. So let's do a quick walkthrough of the Steel Rubber website. So what you'll see here is the main landing page. So save it as a favorite. Now the other advice that I have for folks, and I've mentioned this on Lincoln Attic Podcast, is if you're using Safari or Chrome browser, which are two of the bigger uh, internet browsers that we all use, it will... It really doesn't matter what browser you're using, but I use Safari and I use Chrome. You can save these sites as favorites, and I highly suggest that you create folders. On the Safari browser, you can also add a description. So, for instance, I might have a Lincoln folder, and then underneath that, I might have a folder that's labeled weather stripping or uh, parts. What I'll do is I'll list steel rubber as... Uh, a website that I've saved and I'll add a description there very clear weather stripping 
That way, if I go back into Safari on the MacBook or on my iPhone or iPad, I can go right to Safari browser and I can search for my favorites. Boom, find the website. I highly suggest that you go out there. Uh, there is, as I mentioned, competition to steel rubber, but in my opinion, there's no competition. Steel rubber, again, employs uh, folks here in the United States, and I give them two thumbs up for that. I highly suggest that you go out there, make the purchase, contact them if you need be, and subscribe to Lincoln Addict and our lifestyle of a podcast if those two things are something that you would enjoy listening to. So there you have it. It's the first unboxing or official unboxing that I've done from Lincoln Addict podcast slash Lincoln Addict channel here on YouTube. I appreciate any feedback that you have. Uh, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. You can find the podcast on, if you have an iPhone, it's very simple. Go to the pre-installed podcasts app. It's a purple icon. If you've never listened to a podcast, you may have never opened it. Open that application and simply search Lincoln Addict or Our Lifestyle. Go ahead and subscribe. Anytime I post a new episode, you'll be automatically notified. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out steelrubber.com. We appreciate them. Take care. Peace. Got me plotting, got me plotting, got me thinking, got me thinking. How can I come up and get myself a Lincoln? Got me